What's up, Falcons Nation? NFL fans, it's your boy, Ju, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. In today's video, I'd like to give you guys some Atlanta Falcons news. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content or NFL content. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Ju Talk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign, Ju Talk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Ju Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So in today's video, I do want to give you guys some Atlanta Falcons news. So the Atlanta Falcons uh, in this second round have drafted a uh, defensive tackle, Aruk Aroro. Uh, he goes about 6'4", uh, 295 pounds. And uh, just looking at his, um, his highlights and things of that nature, uh, he played his college ball at the University of Clemson. Uh, but he is one of those guys uh, that is um, a player that's going to give you a lot of effort. He is a guy that had five sacks last year for the Clemson Tigers, uh, eight tackles for loss. Uh, but he is one of those guys, long arms, athletic, um, a guy that's raw talent. But when I looked at his highlights and things of that nature, he is one of those guys that's all out effort on every single play. Uh, one of those guys that's going to stop the run. And one of those guys that the Clemson Tigers used uh, with a lot of stunts. They did a lot of stunts, you know, twist stunts and things of that nature with him on the defensive line, uh, which allowed him to go out and get sacks and things of that nature and tackles for loss. He was one of those guys that was pretty much played the three technique um, and at times played um, that defensive tackle position. But he is one of those guys um, that is an effort player. Uh, one of those guys that I think the Falcons are bringing in to fit in this Jimmy Lake scheme. Um, I was shocked to see this pick by the Atlanta Falcons in the second round because you had guys on the board uh, like Cooper DeJean still on the board. You had guys like Kool-Aid McKinstry that was still on the board. So I do think that this was a little bit high to take uh, Rook Aurororo, but he is one of those guys that I think um, could be a scheme fit uh, for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to cover him uh, prior to the draft. So I don't know a whole lot about him. I just watched a little bit of highlights and things of that nature um, just to see, you know, what he can bring to the table. And just looking at it, he looks like he's going to be one of those guys that's going to give effort. One of those guys that you can rotate in uh, at that three tech that can actually uh, push the pocket. And one of those guys that can get after the, uh, the passer and also uh, get after it in the run game as far as stopping the run and things of that nature. Uh, but you guys give me your thoughts on Ruka Rororo. Uh, do you think that he'll have um, an impact for the Atlanta Falcons team? I definitely think he could be one of those guys that'll be a developmental uh, type player for our Atlanta Falcons, a guy that can bring something to the table. As I mentioned um, in the rotation last year, we, we had like a line rotation where they would bring in uh, four guys and then they would sub you know, Grady Jarrett out, sub guys like Calais Campbell and Bud Dupree out of the game. And they would bring in the Lorenzo Carters. They would bring in the Taquan Grams and the Zach Harrisons. And I think that he'll be one of those guys probably on that second unit as far as where they'll rotate him in at times uh, to let him rush the passer and allow him to also uh, be one of those guys that can stop the run and push the pocket to allow guys like Arnold Epicady and those guys on the edge to get you know, singled up in one-on-one -on -one coverages and things of that nature. But with that being said, this be your boy, Ju. Um, I have a lot more content coming for you guys. But as always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed. Peace.